Hi guys, that's me back again, Dorota Paitska International Nail Artist and Educator here and I have prepared another amazing design for you. Have a preview of it in here. Nice and easy and that's kind of designs which uh, are the most amazing, especially for the beginners. So I hope you guys really enjoy it. So let's start. We are going to play with some ombre French. I'm going to use that 217, which is a flower garden as our background. So just paint it in. It's a really nice color, guys. Like, this looks awesome. And then do it on the other tip. And then cook it in. Okay, in the meantime, we are going to prepare our stamper. So on the stamper, um, I took out the stamper and then we will use some colors. That's uh, 200, which is a sugar rush. It's a really beautiful color. And then some blue. 237. And take the tip which is ready. And then we are going to place it inside our stamper to get those beautiful French ombre. You can go and move it a little bit uh, just so the colors blend in. And that's the result. Let's cure it. Then clean the stamper. I'm just going to use a dry wipe and then we will try a few different colors, guys. So ideally, I want to place them like a really thin, really, really thin. And you can see it when I'm applying it, I also want to blend it. A little bit on the on the stamper. And then the blue one. And so we've got couple different colors in there. And then grab another tip and place it inside the stamper. Look that I'm holding it at the angle just so I can get a deeper smile line. And then remove it and cook it. Okay, we can put the top coat over our first ombre. If you're really fussy, you can go with the second layer. Um, I'm just quite happy. I think it's a fun design to uh, to do it. And what is best about it uh, that you can play with all sorts of different uh, colors to, to achieve that look. So let's cook this one in. And then top coat the other one. 
I actually love this one. It's so, so nice. I prefer it, the deeper smile line. So depending what angle you're going with your French, like uh, you achieve a different looks. Cure it. And then I can show you. No, I'm actually maybe show you another one. Let's do marble quickly. I think that will be super cool as well. So I've got my stamp in there. Some buff tips. And we are going to do it quickly, marble. But I'm always um, reshaping the tips so they're nice. Paint the background. Cook it. This one is ready. And this one is ready too. I love this one, the, the mini French. So pretty. Okay, and then the marble. So for the marble, we are going to use maybe not yellow. Let's forget the yellow. We are going to use this one, this one, the blue, maybe some white. Yes, why not? Use some white as well. Okay, and now I'm just going to go like this on my stamper. And stamp the marble in. Actually, that might be so interesting, I think. Um, try to start stamping where you've got clear. So like if you go like in there, all the product is going to go underneath of the tip. If you're starting where you've got the clear surface, you are not going to uh, have as much product underneath. Okay, get those smile line nice and deep. And then we've got marble French. I love this one actually, it's so pretty. If you really love like extreme corners, what you could do it is just touch it up to bring those corners of the smile line really, really high up. Uh, but this is so quick to do it. Like really high up corners of the smile line. I love this one. It's so beautiful. Like really nice. I, I think that's actually the marble one is my favorite one, to be honest, guys. Um, do you want me to see it on the actual nail? Yes, you do want me to see it on the actual nail. So let's do it on the actual nail as well. And I'm going to do marble because it was my favorite one. <laughs> I did really loved it. And I think it was so pretty. So we are going to play with some marble. Okay. And then let's design it. Design our marble. Okay, so my marble is done. And then I'm just going in with my finger all the way down to the smile line to the one side to the other side and we've got a marble Ta -da! okay so underneath isn't too bad either just because we have slid it like at the angle uh, but obviously if i would be doing on the client i would just touch this up and then touch up the corners of the smile line Especially with the marble, it's so easy to do it. Oh wow, I love it. I do actually love it. Ta-da! This is so pretty actually, guys. Honestly, absolutely amazing. Okay, the underneath is all nice as well. 
That's my favorite one. Love it. Okay, I hope you have really enjoyed this, uh, uh, especially the marble one on the actual meal. I, I don't want to cure it because obviously I love my French uh, to be white, but I just wanted to show you uh, those uh, stamping technique in a few different uh, options and possibilities. Uh, just so. On the actual nails, of course it does look, everything looks much prettier on the actual nails than the, uh, I love it actually on the natural nail, camera mom likes on the natural nail. Let's do it on this one as well. Let's, let's please cameraman. <laughs> you will be happy. Okay. Okay, squeeze it in one side, other side. Okay, wow, clean underneath. Okay, and then take a brush. You could use the, um, take a brush and just touch it up. Okay, in the corners. Okay, and we've got two beautiful Mar Actually, I would fancy my nails as well, as, this way as well. I think it will look uh, pretty, uh, pretty nice. Uh, yes, really interesting look. Or I might do it for a client, guys. Like, I definitely will do it for a client. Uh, that's what we have done it on the tips, but actually I will probably... Oh, yes, the tips are ugly now. <laughs> the tips are really ugly now. On the actual nail, it looks much prettier. Uh, so, yeah, cameraman, please take a screenshot of that so we can use it for a thumbnail picture uh, because I think it will be pretty pretty cool like going like this yay awesome anyway I'm sending you glittery hugs guys and I will see you in the next video bye <laughs>